Math can get scary when you start to have shapes and lines involved. So in this video, I'm gonna break down all the angle rules you need to know on the SAT. I'm gonna show you the rules and then walk through a problem. On the SAT, you're probably gonna see some kind of variation of this shape here with some lines intersecting each other. And here's how to break down the angles. First thing you need to identify is if these lines are parallel. And if they look parallel, they probably are. They're gonna tell you in the problem, but you should always check. So in this case, I'm gonna say these are parallel lines. And the way of denoting that is with these arrows. So this one has one arrow, so those are parallel. And these ones have two because these are a different set of parallel lines. First angle rule we wanna talk about is vertical angles. So if we have this angle up here in the top right, the light blue, we know that the angle right diagonal from it right here is the same angle. So angles that are diagonal from each other are called vertical angles and they are the same. So that also goes for these angles right over here. So this one's red. This one is also a red angle. So we know all those angles up there. The second angle rule you wanna know is corresponding angles. Corresponding angle is an angle that looks the same but is in a different spot. Let me show you what I mean. So if we go back to our light blue in the top right, this angle looks very similar to this angle down here and it's because they're the same angle. So if it's kind of like the same shape but in a different spot, as long as you have parallel lines, it's the same angle. So that means this is also the same angle, this is also the same angle. And then going back to vertical angles, we know the ones diagonal are also the same. The same goes with the red angles. This one is the same, this one is the same. So we got all the angles filled in, but there's one more thing you need to know. Going over here to this new set of lines, if we have this blue angle here, we can find the red angle right next to it because we know a straight line, so this straight line right down here is always 180 degrees. Any straight line is 180. So the red angle plus the blue angle equals 180. We can use that to find the other angle if we have one angle. So that means in this case, X, the red one, plus Y, the blue one, equals 180. So that's everything you need to know about angles and lines. So there are more angle rules with this, but you can kind of derive the other ones from knowing just these. So there's no reason to overcomplicate yourself and know every single angle rule if these do the trick. So now let's jump into the problem and apply them. But looking at this problem, these lines look parallel and let's read the question and see if they actually are. It says in the figure above lines L and M are parallel. So I thought they would be, so these two are parallel. And lines S and T are parallel. If the measure of angle one is 35, what is the measure of angle two? So angle two is down here. So before we do anything, let's think about it. So we know this angle down here, two, corresponds to this one here. The corresponding angles, because they look the same, the lines are parallel, so they are the same angle. And then we know this red angle up here and the 35 come together to form this line down here. So they add up to 180. So that means the red one plus the blue one equals 180. And we can use that to find the angle. And we'll subtract 35 from both sides. And we get X equals 145. So our answer is D. 